Hi, I'm Brian Keeney with Occam Defense, and today I wanted to give you an anatomy lesson into the rear sight tower on the AK, which is the part that we make. Our part, of course, is special in that you can mount a scope to this part of the rail and also use the rear notch just as you would a normal tangent leaf sight. So when we're talking with people, we're realizing that most people don't really understand this part and what it does, other than that that's the thing that you put that thing in before you pull the thing. So um, I'm going to tear the gun down for you guys today and show you the different parts, and then we'll look at the part in isolation and go over those parts again. All right, so as we already discussed, there's a rear notch here. Um, we call this the sight channel here that just gives some clearance for the notch so you're not looking at the walls. If we just made a little notch, you would have seen that the whole way down. So there's the sight channel. That's the rear notch. This is the Picatinny rail here, or 1913 rail. That's what you mount the scope on. So we're just going to go through this from the beginning in terms of disassembly. Back here is the dust cover notch. That notch right there fits the dust cover. We call this little part here the dust cover lip. Now going through the rear sight tower is the bolt carrier. So there's a channel running down this whole thing. Over here is the gas tube cam lock lever. This lever controls a cam lock that pushes down on uh, the gas tube. We're going to flip it up now. When we flip it up, that cam comes out of the way and the gas tube comes out. Note that there is a tang on the gas tube. There is a complementary notch there, or keyway. That's the gas tube keyway. The, um, the lower hand guard the lower hand guard wraps around on this one. The lower handguard wraps around the bottom of the rear sight tower. The rear sight tower is pinned onto the barrel, so it's press fit onto the barrel, and then there is a four and a half millimeter pin in the case of this gun, the milled um, Century C39V2. So there's the barrel pin, and that's the barrel hole. These are the sidewalls. And we're getting just to the bare part now. So I'm going to switch to this view and go over the parts one more time. All right, so here we've got a close-up of the part again. I'm going to try and go in it in the same order. Here is the rear notch. Now you can see the rear notch channel. This is the Picatinny rail for mounting. Here is the uh, dust cover notch. Here is the dust cover lip. These are the side walls. Here is the barrel hole. Here's the barrel pin hole. Up here is um, where the gas tube goes. Here's the cam lock. Of course, there are two holes here that the cam lock lever goes through and is then swaged on. This is this separate part here. And it locks down into this detent here. There's a little, 
there's a little detent right there. The gas tube, as we showed earlier, swings down and registers. The tang goes in the gas tube keyway, and then that cam lock locks it in. So why don't we put a couple parts on here. So here's the dust cover going in there. The gas piston, I'm gonna have to tilt a little bit here. The gas piston reciprocates through that channel. Dust cover sitting and hiding that. And the lower hand guard wraps around that whole thing. Oh, kind of like that. Mm, like that. All right, so that was the basic anatomy lesson on the rear sight tower. There are 12-year-old girls in Russia that can do the, the, the reassembly operation in about 12 seconds. I don't think I can beat that, but we're going to put this thing back together now. Alright, I'm Brian with Occam Defense Solutions and thank you for watching.